Hey everyone, this is John, and today I'm going to give a quick start tutorial on Dash Cam Viewer. This, this is how to get up and running really quick. Now, this presumes you bought your Dash Cam and perhaps you've opened up the box and hooked it up to your car, started recording videos. You want to go and see those videos on your computer. You try to install the software, and it turns out there's perhaps no Mac version of the software, or perhaps the manual is written in some language you don't understand. Well, hopefully Dash Cam Viewer can help you through those issues and provide you a, a really good user experience viewing and playing back your movies. So what I'm showing here is just uh, Dash Cam Viewer in action, and I'm going to start from the very beginning, though. I'm going to go ahead and quit and start from the beginning. So when you first install Dash Cam Viewer, you have the icon here, you just double click on it. Okay, and then you're, here's the sort of uh, blank window, blank piece of paper. You got your basic dash cam viewer window here, the data window, map window, graph window. So let's go ahead and load some movies. So what you do is you navigate, you can either do uh, open movie folder or click here, navigate to your movie directory and that's where your movies are. What I'm doing now is loading a whole folder full of movies. I could load individual movies uh, one by one if I clicked on this button then I could choose one or more movies here and play those individually. But for now I think I'm just gonna load the whole folder full. So I just go over there and ch say choose. And so what Dash Cam Viewer is it loads those in chronological order and immediately starts playing. So let me go over some of the features in the main window. At the top you see the, the time and miles per hour. Down here is a scrubber bar. You can move that different points in the movie. Over here is a movie scrubber bar. So if I want to go forward to the next movie I can just go like that. Alternatively I could use these two um, buttons here. I could go forward one file go for 10 files. Now I don't have 10 files, but it'll get to the last one if you don't have 10. So I'll go back, go back again, and you get the idea. I'm going to show you some more features. Uh, if you see something interesting, let's say, let me go back where I'm following somebody. I'm always at a stoplight here. Okay, so let's say this guy here is taking off and uh, maybe he's about here and I want to read what it's what he's written here on his truck I can zoom in and you can go ahead and get a zoomed in view of this guy and if you want to take a picture you click on this uh, PNG button and that'll make an image I'll go ahead and, and do that click on PNG and when you go back to your finder, let me hide this, you see on the desktop, there it is. So that's exporting a PNG. Let's go back and you can continue to play. It's actually playing right now. Now to reset the zoom, you can zoom out of course, or you can just hit this button here that resets your zoom factor and on we go. Uh, if you want to capture some action, you want to play back some action in slow motion, I'll pick on this guy again, just crank down the uh, speed accelerator. Here we're going at quarter speed and it can go up to 2x. Two, two you get the idea. Play smoothest at 1x. Okay. I'm going to show you some more features up here. This is the data view. And what we're seeing here is a current speed, number of miles traveled, again the time and date. And this is our direction, moving northwest currently, our latitude and longitude. Now if you load movies from a dash cam that actually produces more data, like this, this one here is a Mini 0801, it doesn't produce a whole lot of data. It gives you Latin law and speed. 
Some of them give you GPS uh, metrics such as HDOP and number of sats in view. And if you load those cameras files in, you'll actually get extra features that pop up. Here you don't see that. And I'll show those in another movie. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh, I wanted to show you these, these little arrows here. You click on the arrow and you get this thing where it says get weather. You click on that and it tells you the weather for that location at that on that day. So on that day, uh, January 2nd in California, it was 78 degree high, 45 degree low, and there was fog and six mile visibility. You click on this again, you find out that that day was a Thursday. And then back to the beginning. On the map view, you can see here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Here we are at the intersection. And nothing's moving, so I'm going to go to the next. Still not moving, still stuck after three minutes at that stoplight. And on we go. You can see that we're heading up to the traffic circle here. And you can zoom in, zoom out. You see your route. You can turn on and off the route. And turn on and off movie markers. Those are just, uh, shows you the delineations between movies you can try a different, uh, you want to do a road map, or satellite, or terrain. And if you're not satisfied with Google Map, you can switch to Bing as well. But if you do that, you have to reload your movies to see your route. Of course, you can make this full screen, which is interesting, and watch your, your progress. It looks like I'm stuck again in traffic at a traffic light. Let's go back and uh, let's go back to the beginning where I'm actually moving. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it and just zoom out a little bit and see where we are. Show you another feature. If you have this click to go button checked, you can just click on the map somewhere like say at Warner here and it'll jump you to that point. So here I am approaching Warner. Currently that works on the Mac version. It's not working yet on the PC version of Dashcam Viewer. So some more features here looking at the graph window. One thing you notice here shows my speed and it's off scale. You see this some, sometimes it's going faster than 45 miles an hour. So if I click auto scale, that will round it to the nearest uh, whole number or nearest tenth number, 80 in this case, uh, for the whole trip. And then uh, let's say you wanted to increase or decrease the number of intervals here. You can do that two ways. I'll show you the shortcut. Well, I can't really show it to you, but I can explain it to you. If you click the three or four keys, that's three and that's four. So they add and subtract intervals. So I like that. Switch over to distance, same problem. I'm going to click auto scale. I can see my distance. Here's my bearing. Shows me my turns. Pretty much of a straight shot in this long route. And then G-forces. This shows the from the G-force sensor in the dash cam, uh, you know, different acceleration values in the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Okay, so I want to talk, talk to you a little bit more. I didn't mention this, that you can switch to kilometers per hour very easily here. You just go like that, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and that switches it here. Notice the speed here changed, distance changed to kilometers. You can re-hit the auto scale button, re-hit the auto scale button, and it rescales. I'll go back to miles per hour the auto scale. Okay, and uh, if you want to see the movie, where what actual movie is it playing, you can click on this button down here, and that will reveal that movie. So this is number 1216. Go ahead and animate. I'm going to talk about exporting 
CSV and GPX files in another movie. And I think that I've touched on just about everything. There are some things that are pretty obvious, like the volume. And uh, these, this save settings is a bit of an advanced feature. I can go over some of the preferences in another movie, but there's a lot of preferences here. And of course, you can experiment with them. And there's a way to export a clip. If you want to do that, I'll show you. Let's say there's something interesting on this clip. I'll just uh, probably should pause it first. Uh, what I can do is hit export clip, say how many seconds, let's say five seconds, click OK, give it a location. This is a good location, choose, and it's done. So you want to reveal, click yes, and then there's the, the movie. Double click on it, runs in QT, uh, QT player. So this is uh, five seconds worth of this movie extracted from the dash cam. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the uh, next installment. And visit us at dashcamviewer.com.